It is the first model in the 2023 Zoids collaboration with Metarot, not to be confused with the Wild Zero collaboration. It is ZID Zero Shield Liger, with the kits of Charge Guard, Double Beam Sword, Biped Legs, and the leg ability of Auto Charge, which passively fills Metaphor's Gauge each turn an action is completed. Now, not only as the first model introduced in the announced collaboration, but also as the free event reward that everybody can collect, it's honestly one of those models that actually has some pretty good stats, some good specs, and for the first time in a while, it's actually a model that anybody can collect that's not a gacha exclusive model. So lots of really nice things to look forward to with this model, not just for the aesthetic of another colla well-known collaboration alone, but also for the kind of specs that it brings to the table. Charge Guard on the head is a defense skill that basically will put him in a defense stance and essentially allow him to guard and, and, and any income get taxed for his allies. But the difference is the level of charge that he has in his gauge is relative to the amount of how much damage he'll reduce when taking those incoming blows. So naturally that means that the lower his charge is, the less damage he's going to be able to negate and reduce Whereas if he has a full or nearly full Metaphorce Gauge, it's much more likely that he's going to keep the damage as low as possible as, well, as long as he stays on the line. Now, of course, because it is a defense skill, it does mean he is susceptible to anyone that is using, say, uh, death, death Lock or Slip or especially Destroy in many cases too. So a little caution is highly advised there if you are going to make use of it. Right and left arm of Beam Sword are optic attribute skills and are basically just the melee variant of Hyper Beam. That means they have a times 2 damage bonus at 30% charge and a times 3 damage bonus at 100% charge for even more powerful high end nu uh, nuking power for anyone that is in need of it on their teams. Biped Legs also means that, sh that Shield Liger has very solid coverage across pretty much all terrains, and when it comes to uh, terrain matching, Biped is definitely one of the best and well matched across the team, but the leg ability of Auto Charge actually is really nice too, as it ties not just with Charge Guard, but also with Beam Sword as well, but I will uh, talk about his synergy in just a moment as well. With his stats too, he's not too shabby either, not... Pretty much in, as, what you, as what you'd expect of a uh, two, li very likely a two-star and event reward model, but still very powerful in his own right. With leg with a leg mobility of 755, he's most certainly not going to be the fastest on the field, but he's in that nice little sweet spot of where you really want to be um, in terms of that uh, nice ideal mid-range. A mobile, an evade of 1082 as well as a melee resist of 1082 means that he'll have a pretty decent time dodging or grazing incoming attacks and his and his resistance to melee attacks is also moderately solid as well but a shoot resist of 686 is definitely not great not to say that it's terrible or horrendous but it's definitely not superb either as it does mean that if there is anyone with a long range combat mastery on the field some, ca some caution will most certainly be advised and recommended just to make sure that he doesn't get sniped faster than he is able to dish out what he can do on the field. All this being said though, as a pure set score, I still do have to raid Shield Liger a pretty solid 8 out of 10. Like I said, his kit synergizes very, very well with itself. Charge Guard and Beam Sword both benefit very much so from auto charge on his legs. The only real weaknesses here is the fact that his, that his heat and cool stats, as you see here, are pretty low, with both his arms being just barely in the 400s range, the cooldown on his left arm just barely cresting 400 there at 397. So again, he's not going to be the fastest, but in terms of, of readily available specs, especially to new players that pick him up early on, he is still going to be a very invaluable model to any, to any team that he's put on. An auto charge again does mean he will progressively fill his gauge and pretty much make uh, meet his own charge and metaphors requirements and sustain builds for any team that he is put on as essentially a one bot metaphors battery. As mixed parts, I do have to rate him just a little bit higher at an 8.5 out of 10, primarily for the fact that even though he synergizes really, really well with himself, again, minus the really low heat and cool stats. Passable success stats, I suppose, and also the decent leg stats as well, minus the uh, shoot resist. If you mix his parts up and use them across other team builds, it's going to be really where he shines the most. Beam Sword, I really don't have to say much about it because it is an immensely powerful attack. 
pair it off with something like full charge or auto charge in this case with his legs or something similar and you can most certainly start cooking up some high damage really really quickly and charge guard even though we have not seen it often this is essentially the uh second instance of this i believe uh the previous one also on a collab model with uh lead with a uh, uh, sword blues from the uh, rockman collaboration a fair while ago but he is still a very solid model to make use of across the team just exercise some caution like i said from any incoming snipers on the enemy side that will try to pump that will try to pump him full of holes uh with long range combat and keep him at a minimum 